The Dead Sea, narrated by Aaron Bloom. Just 25 kilometers east of the holy city of Jerusalem, Israel, across a mountainous range and steep canyons lies a magnificent lake unlike any other body of water on earth. The body of water in which I'm referring to is called the Dead Sea. It is the lowest point on earth at a depth of 377 meters below sea level and stretches to a length of 42 miles with a width of 11 miles and a surface area of 310 square miles. The Dead Sea is the most saline of all natural lakes containing a salt concentration of 34%, about 10 times the salinity of the ocean which is only has is a salt concentration of 3%. What makes the Dead Sea such a unique body of water is that the density of this lake is 1.24 kilograms a liter, which means the lake is so salty that whoever bathes in it becomes a lot more dense than the water, meaning that everybody can effortlessly float in the Dead Sea regardless of their weight or size, making it physically impossible for anyone to drown. However, lifeguards are still required to observe anyone who is swimming and or floating in the Dead Sea. This is due to the fact that since the Dead Sea contains so much salt, if a person manages to ingest even as much as a mouthful of the salt, it could lead to a heart attack or stroke. The Jordan River is the only water source that feeds the Dead Sea. The only other water sources located located around and under the Dead Sea are mineral springs that naturally manufacture pools and quicksand along the shoreline. The water from these mineral springs are similar to the kind of drinkable mineral water that we buy at the store, but because the Dead Sea is surrounded by nothing except the mountains, these mineral waters have nowhere to go but up into the atmosphere evaporating into the hot, dry desert air. The evaporation of these minerals enrich the atmosphere with natural chemicals, which leaves behind a lake that contains 320 grams of salts and minerals within every liter along with the sticky black mud that contains a cosmetic mineral saturated with health-giving minerals. Compared to the ocean's mineral content, the Dead Sea's mineral content is much different. What the Dead Sea's water is made up of depends on the season it is, how deep it is, and at what temperature the water is at. Since the 1980s, the ionic chemistry concentration of the Dead Sea surface water, which is measured in grams per kilogram, has been made up of 181.4 chlorine, 0.2 bromine, 0.4 sulfuric acid, 0.2 bicarbonate, 14.1 calcium, 32.5 sodium, 6.2 potassium, and 35.2 magnesium. This makes the total salinity of the Dead Sea 276 grams per kilogram. These elements help to convert the overall amount of salt in the Dead Sea into different percentages of anhydrous chlorine which includes 14.4% calcium chloride, 4.4% potassium chloride, 50.8% magnesium chloride, and 30.4% sodium chloride, which is just natural salt. Compared to the Dead Sea, the salt in all other saline bodies of water on Earth is only made up of 97% sodium chloride. Scientific evidence states that the waters of the Dead Sea contain phenomenal health-giving properties, along with the sticky black mud and mineral spring water, as well as its climate. The sunlight that is filtered and its enriched atmosphere, the Dead Sea, is also a natural health spa. The Dead Sea can also be used as a type of therapy that involves placing the person in a suitable climate to treat the disease that they're suffering from. This type of therapy is known as climatotherapy. A large number of patients who seek treatment from the Dead Sea's natural health spa and are successful include patients who suffer from psoriasis, which is a skin disease that covers the person with unsightly and uncomfortable red scaly patches. Dead Sea psoriasis 
treatment has a success rate of between 75 to 90 percent. After witnessing the high success rate that the Dead Sea had on psoriasis patients, doctors decided to apply this kind of Dead Sea climatotherapy to patients who suffer from other kinds of skin diseases that were too difficult to treat. Skin diseases such as atopic dermatitis and eczema. It turns out that 97% of dermatitis patients are successfully treated from the Dead Sea treatment as well as the treatment of eczema's itchy red lumps. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out why this body of water is called the Dead Sea. Obviously because the high amount of salt makes it impossible for any marine life such as fish and aquatic plants to survive. However, there are many different species of microorganisms whose habitat is located on the floor of the Dead Sea. They are exceptional microorganisms that have been able to adapt to the harsh salinity of the Dead Sea. These microorganism species consist mainly of bacteria and algae. How these amoebas have been able to adapt and survive within the waters of the Dead Sea has remained a mystery for years. However, scientists in both Israel and the United States have discovered that one of these bacteria species called Haloarcula maris morte has been able to survive because it contains unique proteins that help protect it from the harmful effects that salt normally has on single cellular organisms. In order for a protein to function properly, it must remain in a special solution that, that is bonded to the, the water molecules. When the water is taken away by the salt molecules, the proteins precipitate and, and bonds with one another, transforming into a type of white sludge that is completely non-functional, causing the cell to die. However, when it comes to the proteins found in the Haloarcula maris morte, they are shaped much differently than the way normal cell proteins are shaped. They are actually shaped in the form of handle-shaped spikes sticking out all around the outside of the cell. These handle-shaped spikes contain two negatively charged building blocks of the protein called amino acid, which have a very strong demand for water. Since these amino acids are both negatively charged, they are able to draw the water away from from the salt, allowing the protein to remain in the solution, keeping the bacteria alive. So what was it that caused the Dead Sea to deform? Well, to understand this question, we have to go look at the subject plate tectonics. Beginning north of where the Dead Sea is and running southwards along the eastern side of Africa, there is a type of rift valley forming where two of the Earth's crustal plates are separated. This rift valley runs right along where the Dead Sea is located. As these plates move farther apart, it causes the Earth's crust to be stretched thinner and thinner until the Earth's crust becomes so thin that a section of the Earth's surface sinks downwards. Even today, scientists think that the Dead Sea lowers by as much as 13 inches per year. The reason that the Dead Sea is so salty is due to the fact that it is continuously fed water from the rivers and streams coming down off the mountains that surround it. But the main reason that it is so salty is due to the fact that there are no rivers that drain out of the Dead Sea, which means the salt has nowhere to go. The only way the water can get out of the Dead Sea is through evaporation, but because the Dead Sea is located in an area of the world that gets very hot, when the water actually does evaporate, it leaves behind all the dissolved minerals in the sea, which makes it even saltier.